Re you looking for the best 3D printers? In this video, we will look at some of the 10 best 3D printers on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Original Prusa i3MK3S Plus. Original Prusa i3MK3S Plus is the best 3D printer for serious hobbyists, makers. As the flagship of Prusa Research's 3D printer line, the original Prusa i3MK3S Plus is the latest iteration of a machine that has undergone a decade of advances and tweaks. The result is a polished open-frame 3D printer devoid of obvious flaws, supported by an extensive network of community and help features. While user manuals for many 3D printers are rudimentary, the i3MK3S Plus includes a beautiful, professionally printed guide that covers both the pre-assembled version, which we reviewed, and the kit. In our testing, the printer's operation proved smooth, with no misprints, and our test prints were consistently of above-average quality. The i3MK3S Plus supports a variety of filament types. A 1 kilo spool is included. The pre-assembled version of the i3MK3S Plus is good for anyone from a rank beginner to a 3D printing veteran. It's also a great addition to a classroom or community center. You can save a bit of money by opting for the kit version, which will likely take at least an afternoon to assemble and may be best left to experienced users and tinkerers. Pros of Original Prusa i3MK3S Plus Consistently high quality prints No misprints in our testing Easy to use, yet powerful, software. Supports multiple filament types. Includes a 1 kilogram PLA spool. Professionally printed user guide and great support resources. Number 2. Dremel DigiLab 3D45 3D Printer. Best 3D printer for professionals and small businesses. Dremel is better known for its rotary power tools than its 3D printers, but the company put the same care and craftsmanship into the DG Lab 3D45 that it has with its more traditional products. The 3D45 consistently output good quality prints in our testing. Plus, the closed frame provides safety to users while prints are in progress. You can print from a computer over a USB, Ethernet, or Wi-Fi connection, as well as from a USB thumb drive. Every Dremel printer can connect via the web to the Dremel Print Cloud, from which you can prepare and launch print jobs and even monitor prints in progress from an onboard 720p camera. The DigiLab 3D45 is made primarily for product developers, engineers, and other professionals, although it also should be useful in education. It was originally designed not as a commercial product, but as a tool for engineers at the Robert Bosch Tool Corporation, Dremel's parent company, to use in product design, so it is built to the company's exacting standards. Pros of Dremel DigiLab 3D45 3D Printer Very good print quality Easy to use User-friendly yet powerful software Prints via USB, Ethernet, and Wi-Fi, and from a USB thumb drive Safe design Relatively quiet Number 3 Ultimaker S5 Best pro-level 3D printer for large objects the Ultimaker S5 costs a pretty penny, but you get a lot for its premium price. A 3D printer geared to professionals, the S5 has a large build area for a closed-frame printer and packs dual extruders, letting you print with two filament colors or types. To that end, it comes with one spool of tough PLA, polylactic acid, and one of polyvinyl alcohol PVA, the latter a water-soluble filament commonly used as a temporary support material during printing for complex objects. Moreover, it is easy to set up and operate. The S5 can connect to a printer via Wi-Fi or Ethernet, and you can print objects from a USB thumb drive inserted into its forward-facing port. It uses the familiar Cura open-source printing software that Ultimaker now manages. The S5 is a good choice for product designers, engineers, architects, and others in need of a machine that can consistently churn out high-quality prototypes or models, and that the money to spend on a printer that will bring that ability in-house. Its dual extruders let you print in two colors, or with multiple filament types. Its cubic print area is large for a closed-frame printer, and it churned out good to excellent quality prints in our testing. Pros of Ultimaker S5 Dual Extruders 
Large build volume. Quiet. Good print quality. Easy setup and operation. Touch screen. Umber 4. MakerBot Replicator Plus. Best 3D printer for product designers slash engineers. The MakerBot Replicator Plus output prints of good to excellent quality in our testing. It has a wide range of connectivity choices, you can print from a computer over USB, Ethernet, or Wi-Fi, as well as over Wi-Fi from a phone or tablet with the MakerBot mobile app installed. You can also print files from a USB thumb drive. MakerBot provides its own software, which can be tailored to a user's experience level. Although the Replicator Plus is an open-frame printer, the extruder nozzle is placed in back of the extruder assembly and is hard to reach, minimizing the risk of someone accidentally being burned by touching the hot nozzle. The MakerBot Replicator Plus is a good fit for product designers, architects, and engineers, as well as small businesses, schools, and community centers, not to mention individuals with money to spare who are looking for a high-quality 3D printer. MakerBot's latest releases, the Method and Method X, have a larger build area and are built to produce prints to meet exacting engineering standards, but they are much pricier. The Replicator Plus is a general-purpose model that should appeal to a wider audience and is more affordable. Pros of MakerBot Replicator Plus Easy to use Very good print quality User-friendly yet powerful software Prints via USB, Ethernet, and Wi-Fi, and from a USB thumb drive. Safe design for an open-frame printer. Relatively quiet. Number 5. Monoprice Mini Delta V2 3D Printer. Monoprice Mini Delta V2 3D Printer is the best budget 3D printer for beginners. Among the things we look for in an entry-level 3D printer are a low price, ease of setup and use, largely problem-free operation, and solid print quality. The Monoprice Mini Delta V2 3D printer ticks off all these boxes. It lists at just under $200, and it is a cinch to set up and operate. Its print bed leveling is truly automatic and requires no calibration bed leveling problems can be the bane of some budget, and even pricier, 3D printers. For software, it comes with a modified version of the popular open-source Cura program we have seen with numerous other 3D printers. The Mini Delta V2 eschews the Cartesian XYZ axis design found in most filament-based FFF 3D printers in favor of the Delta design, in which the extruder's motion is controlled by three sets of arms. This makes it fast and capable of printing tall relative to its other dimensions objects, though it still has a relatively small build area. The Mini Delta V2 is great for newbies thanks to its bargain basement price, easy setup, and smooth operation. Although its output in our tests was nearly misprint free, print quality was unspectacular. That, and a relatively small build area, makes it a less than optimal choice for intermediate, let alone expert, users. But it's a fine, low risk first 3D printer for those getting their feet wet in 3D printing. Pros of Monoprice Mini Delta V2 3D Printer quick, nearly misprint-free printing, easy setup and operation, sturdy steel and aluminum frame, supports multiple filament types. Number 6. Creality Ender 3V2. Best budget 3D printer for DIY types. The Creality Ender 3V2 provides good value in an open-frame 3D printer, offering a large print area for its price. This bargain basement printer, which comes in kit form, produced generally good quality prints in our testing. For software, you can use either Cura or the company's own Creality Slicer. The Ender 3V2 works with several filament types. PLA, ABS, PTG, and TPU. Its manual print bed leveling proved tricky in practice. Setup instructions could have been better, but fortunately some third-party sites offer useful videos and other getting acquainted help. The Creality Ender 3V2 is aimed at 3D printing newcomers with a DIY mindset, as well as tinkerers on a budget. If you're looking for a plug-and-play 3D printer to get up and running as quickly as possible, you'll have to go elsewhere, as the Ender 3V2 kit requires some enterprising screwdriver twirling. That said, you do learn an incredible amount about how 3D printers work by assembling your own, if you have the patience and are willing to roll up your sleeves. Pros of Creality Ender 3V2 Inexpensive 
slightly above average print quality. Good size build area for its price. Supports several filament types. Number 7. Toybox 3D Printer. Toybox 3D Printer is the best 3D printer for children and young people. The Toybox 3D Printer is a device that children can enjoy with minimal supervision and use to output some nifty toys. A parent will be needed for initial setup which involves setting up a free account, downloading an app, and syncing the device with the printer and there should always be an adult around when it is used by younger children. You can print from a mobile device or through a browser, selecting printable objects from Toybox's generous selection or designing your own. Printing proved smooth, with no misprints. Filament-wise, it's PLA only, which is the best choice for beginners. The Toybox 3D printer is designed for use by children and young people. Toybox Labs suggests a minimum age of 5, and that there be an adult around when the printer is in use. The toy box should be fun for people of any age, printing with it is a good activity to bring parents and children together. You can import and print 3D files from outside its ecosystem, but the process can be tricky. That, combined with its minuscule build area and the fact that its filament is limited just to PLA, make the toy box a specialty printer unsuitable for general use. That said, it's a great choice for use by kids and young people. Pros of Toy Box 3D Printer Reliable, misprint-free printing. Easy setup. One-touch operation. Well-composed help resources. Access to more than 2,000 printable toys and projects. Let's you create your own printable designs. Number 8. Lulzbot Mini 2. Lulzbot Mini 2. Is the best open-frame 3D printer for hobbyists and schools. Easy to set up and operate, the Lulzbot Mini 2 is an open-frame 3D printer capable of printing with a variety of filament types. The Mini 2 supports direct USB connection with a computer and adds SD card connectivity. It uses thick filament, 2.85 mm, often rounded to 3 mm in descriptions, available on the Lulzbot site and elsewhere. Easy to set up and use, the Mini 2 employs the commonly used and effective open-source Cura printing software. Overall print quality was solid, if not exceptional. The Lulzbot Mini 2 is a good choice for individuals, schools, and community centers thanks to its easy setup and operation. Hobbyists and tinkerers will like its ability to print with a wide variety of filament types. Its build volume is on the small side for an open frame printer, and its print quality is only average, so professionals such as product designers, architects, and engineers may want to look elsewhere if they need to produce larger and or more exacting models. Pros of Lulzbot Mini 2 Easy to set up and use Powerful software Quiet operation Supports a variety of filament types LCD with SD card slot Self-leveling print bed. Easy to remove finished objects from print bed. Works with Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. Number 9. AnchorMake M5. AnchorMake M5 is the best mid-range 3D printer for fast printing. It's unusual for a new player in the 3D printer field to hit a home run in their first at-bat, but Anchor has done exactly that. The AnchorMake M5, an open-frame filament-based FFF model, is a cinch to assemble, and its print bed is easy to level, many 3D printers have died on that hill. It's easily the fastest FFF printer we've tested, and in our testing it consistently churned out high-quality prints with nary a misprint. A built-in camera can produce a time-lapse video of the print process or share data with an AI function to analyze a print in progress. It supports PLA, PTG, TPU, and ABS filaments. Anchor provides a proprietary slicer for creating printable files, but claims compatibility with Simplify 3D and Prusa Slicer 2. The AnchorMake M5's mid-range price may be prohibitive for frugal shoppers and 3D printing newbies, but the minor assembly and setup required shouldn't be an obstacle even for rank beginners. It's a good choice for hobbyists, schools, and community centers, and its speed and print quality put in good stead for rapid prototyping or short-run manufacturing. Pros of Anchor Make M5 High-quality prints Fast standard print speed Filament holder can be mounted vertically or horizontally. Print bed offers large print volume and easy print removal. 
Quick assembly using extra handy bundled toolkit. Nifty time lapse recording feature. Number 10. Anycubic Viper. Anycubic Viper is the best budget 3D printer for large objects. The Anycubic Viper, an open frame budget 3D printer, provides a large volume print area and support for automatic bed leveling. It comes partially assembled, with the remaining steps, bolting the frame to the base, plugging several cables into their sockets, and attaching the filament spool holder to the frame, simple and straightforward. As for filament, the Viper supports the standard ABS and PLA, plus TPU and PTG. The printer only comes with a small starter coil, so you'll want to buy at least one spool at purchase. Pro tip, Anycubic and Amazon often offer bundled filament deals when buying a Viper. Due to its competitive pricing, generous build area, and automatic print bed leveling, the Viper is a good choice for 3D printing newbies or hobbyists on a budget. Some of our test prints looked a bit rough-hewn, so print perfectionists will want to avoid this one, but its minimal assembly requirements shouldn't deter anyone from buying it on that score. Pros of any cubic Viper Relatively large build area Automatic bed leveling Simple assembly